Okay, guys, so this guy's ready to go. Um, the HMI, I'm thinking to leave off. We can maybe re I'm going to leave it in there just in case you guys did want to add a filler or something later on. Um, you can. And then we could maybe add some fill variables and stuff like that on a syringe or something like that. But as far as the capper, there's really no variables except where the eye is, which is manually controlled, and uh, pressure for the, the piston over here. Um, as far as everything else goes, you know, you hit your foot pedal, your eye is going to see it, then it's going to go down, it's then going to go up, and, and that's it. So there's really nothing to control. Um, so I think if we add a whole bunch of variables, it's just going to get kind of confusing. As far as table speed, it's pretty much as fast as it'll go without these things wiggling everything everywhere. So that's all good. Um, really, your only adjustments are all manual. And one of them here, you can see that the cart's a little bit on this side of the of the tower. I just have been calling this the tower as I build it. The t you can adjust your eye here. However, I usually adjust the tower just because it's easier. This thing's super sensitive. And to do that, you just have some bolts down here. The three bolts that connect to this back plate and the three bolts that connect to this back plate, loosen them up and this whole thing will kind of move. And then you could center it and tighten it back down. Use a three millimeter wrench if you wanted those. And I am gonna throw in some extra um, Allen heads just in case they strip out or something like that. Uh, but I mean, you could spend all day messing with with zeroing that in. As far as this guy goes, it does kind of go up in there. These are stainless steel nuts, stainless steel piston head, and I did put this nut on a lathe and knock out the threads so that way it's just nice and smooth in there. Um, let's see. So yeah, I don't think you really need an HMI or anything like that to run this thing. Basically, you know, you just put it in and go. Um, as far as if, if it's not tapping hard enough, you would adjust this guy here. You can bring it up and down. Basically, I have it, you know, right, right, right about five bar, which kicks butt. As far as ejecting, you can eject it a little higher. Um, right now, we are at three bar, which works pretty dang good. And ejecting is right here. Um, one thing to note, if, you're, if, if you do move this tower too far over to the right, then when this thing ejects, if this guy's ca capping way over here, this hole's also going to be way over here, which will miss the, the ejecting side on this side. So always make sure it's kind of capping um, counterclockwise from 12, just a little bit. As far as ejecting, we're using air pressure, so uh, you might need to turn it up a little bit. Right now I just have it kind of popping out of the hole like that. Um, every once in a while, you might have one that gets stuck or doesn't eject. If that happens, it's okay. Just pull it out and, and keep going. Um, and one way that that would happen, if you were on your last one, say you just capped that guy right there, you just capped him, and it doesn't sense another one with the eye, it's not going to run this setting over here because they both work in tandem. So if you don't take that out right here, it will hit the bar. And it's going to do something like that. It's going to click. You can just kind of pull it out. And then the disc is going to kind of keep spinning. You could either do one thing. Hit your e-stop up here. That'll stop it. Um, or put another one on so the eye sees it and stops it as well. So that's basically how it works. As far as wiring this guy, basically you just need to hook an airline into this quarter inch um, nut here. It'll be all, all pre-plumbed and teed off for that. And then as far as wiring goes, it wires just like our matrix filler. We use these filled connectors. Each one's going to be labeled, and you would just plug them in on this side. Um, you'll see them. It's, it'll say like foot switch, foot switch, I, I, axis, axis, table rotate, table rotate, that sort of thing. Just, just line them up. You're good to go. 110 power plug right there. Um, other than that, that's it. This this guy's ready to go. So um, the glass comes in here very, very soon. Just waiting on that to get made. And uh, we'll ship this out on Tuesday. If you guys are okay with everything being kind of hard-coded. If for some reason you did need to change a setting, um, you can download the Automation Direct software. And I'm, I'll send you guys over the program. And you can change like all the timing variables if you want. But there's really no need to on, on this machine.
But is it good? It's it's a it's a good surprise. I thought I thought maybe we need to move some of that, but you really don't. Everything's been just working great. Um, and just to leave it on capping, here's basically one. You know, you'd throw it in, cap it, or just put your cap on, hit it. That one would have stopped because I didn't have one in the middle, or that one wouldn't adjust. And there you go. Another setting, once this guy does cap once, um, this shouldn't go down again. However, don't test it. Um, that's basically, I think, everything to install it and run it. There's really nothing to this guy. It's pretty simple. Uh, please let me know if you guys are good with this. I'll get it palletized and uh, shipped to you all. Thank you.